Hello students. Today let's break down gangrenous necrosis. Necrosis means cell death. When cells lose their blood supply, they die, just like a plant without water. Gangrenous necrosis is when a large area of tissue, like a toe or limb, dies because blood flow is lost. This isn't just a few cells, it's a whole section of your body shutting down. Gangrene is the visible result, dead, decaying tissue. There are two main types, dry and wet gangrene. Dry gangrene happens when blood flow is slowly blocked. The tissue dries, shrinks and turns black, almost mummified. Wet gangrene is more dangerous. Here, bacteria infect the dead tissue, causing swelling, pus and a foul smell. Wet gangrene spreads quickly and can make you very sick. So, necrosis is cell death. Gangrenous necrosis is large-scale tissue death, often visible and serious. Dry gangrene is dry and black. Wet gangrene is swollen, smelly and infected. Recognizing these differences is crucial. Gangrenous necrosis is a medical emergency. Quick action can save tissue and lives. Let's see why this happens. Understanding this helps us appreciate why immediate treatment is critical. Why does gangrenous necrosis occur? The main culprit is loss of blood supply, ischemia. Blood vessels can get blocked by fatty plaques, as in peripheral artery disease, especially in the legs and feet. Injuries, like car accidents or deep cuts, can sever blood vessels, cutting off blood flow and causing tissue death. Frostbite is another cause. Extreme cold clamps down blood vessels, starving cells. Diabetes is a major risk factor. It damages blood vessels and nerves, so injuries go unnoticed and infections develop easily. Poor blood flow and infection together create the perfect storm for wet gangrene. Blood clots can suddenly block arteries, causing rapid tissue death. Severe infections can also trigger gangrene, as bacteria release toxins or cause swelling that blocks blood flow. In all these cases, tissue is starved of oxygen and nutrients. That's why people with diabetes or circulation problems must be extra careful. Any serious infection or injury needs prompt medical attention. Gangrene can develop quickly and become life-threatening. Prevention and early action are key. Next, let's look at the warning signs. How do you spot gangrene? Watch for these signs. Skin color changes, pale, blue, then dark brown or black, signal dying tissue. Early on, there's severe pain. Later, numbness as nerves die. Wet gangrene causes swelling, pus, and a foul, rotting smell. You might feel crackling under the skin from gas produced by bacteria. Blisters with dark, smelly fluid can appear. Dry gangrene is dry, cold, and shrunken. No bad smell. Wet gangrene makes you feel very sick. Fever, rapid heartbeat, confusion, low blood pressure. These are signs of sepsis, a medical emergency. If you see black skin, numbness, swelling, or a bad smell, especially with illness, get to a doctor immediately. Time is critical. Early treatment saves lives. When gangrene is suspected, doctors act fast. First, they remove dead tissue, a process called debridement. If the damage is severe, amputation may be needed to save the patient's life. Strong antibiotics are given, especially for wet gangrene, to fight infection. Doctors test tissue to choose the best antibiotic. For dry gangrene, restoring blood flow is crucial. Procedures like angioplasty or bypass surgery may be used. Sometimes, hyperbaric oxygen therapy helps kill bacteria and heal tissue. The outcome depends on how quickly treatment starts. Early, aggressive care can save lives and limit tissue loss. Delay can mean losing a limb or worse. Recognizing gangrene early is vital. Let's review the key points. To sum up, gangrenous necrosis is large-scale tissue death from lost blood supply. It's caused by poor circulation, injury, diabetes or infection. Watch for black skin, numbness, swelling and foul-smelling sores. Wet gangrene is especially dangerous and spreads fast. Immediate medical attention is essential. 
delay can cost a limb or a life. Treatment involves removing dead tissue, antibiotics, and restoring blood flow. Prevention is best. Manage health, check your feet, and treat injuries promptly. Early recognition and action save lives. Gangrenous necrosis is serious, but knowledge and quick response make a difference. Thank you for learning with us.